Hi guys! So in today's video, I have three Squishmallow packages to open. Um, one of them is some of the Valentine's Day clips from Walgreens. I have not been able to find them at any of the Walgreens near me and I was dying to have them. So I ordered them. Um, I have never bought any Squishmallow clips actually. Um, I guess a lot of the times that I see them, I feel like they're a little like overpriced. Um, I think I just didn't appreciate them enough. <laughs> but I was thought they were a little overpriced and I didn't really want to like put them on my bed where they had the little like plastic clip. And so I never really knew what to do with them, but I saw someone who put them on their little like plush net, which I thought was so cute. So then from that point on, I was like, okay, well, we're gonna have to buy all the clips. So I ordered the Valentine's Day clips that I liked from Walgreens. And I also have um, one of the stationary sets that I've seen a few other like Squishmallow content creators do. Um, but I haven't seen anyone open this particular one. I bought the Buela one. Buela is one of my favorite squish. I love Buela. Where is she? She's somewhere over here. I don't know. She's she's somewhere in this disaster. I need to reorganize all my squish because they are a mess right now. Um, where I've had so many like Valentine's Day ones come in. Um, everything's kind of become a disaster. So, And then the last package that I have is a mystery box from Amazon. It has three 8 inch Squishmallows in it. Uh, I've bought one, oh, I've bought two in the past. One of them was the 5 inch ones. I don't remember if it was three or five, but I remember not being super duper impressed with it, unfortunately. Um, I know it had like two bunnies in it, which kind of like was sad. Um, not that I don't like the bunnies, but they're like the Easter ones. And I'm not, a, I'm not the biggest fan of like the Easter squish that have like the baskets and like the eggs on them. Um, and then I've bought another eight inch one in the past, the eight inch pack of three mystery squish. And I actually was super duper impressed with that one. Um, I know I got Celestina in it, which she is so cute. Um, and I had never seen her before, so I thought it was pretty cool. Um, so I bought another one <laughs> uh, that I'm going to be opening today. So you and it's been literally killing me because the mystery box came in way before the rest of the stuff because um we had a super bad snowstorm i'm sure you heard this south got hit hard with snow and it delayed like everything but the mystery box came in super duper quick and so it's just been sitting here and i've been dying literally dying to open it so i'm super duper excited um yeah so I hope you guys enjoy, and hopefully, fingers crossed, the Squish Gods bless me today, and I'm happy with everything that I got. So first we're gonna open the Walgreens order. Um, these are the Valentine's Day Squishmallow Clips. Um, which I, like I said earlier, I have a, I've never bought any clips and I'm super duper duper excited because ever since I saw the little thing where people were putting it on their nets, I knew that I had to start getting them because I thought that was so cute. And I have a couple, all of my like non squishmallows to sit in the nets. I have one up there and then I have another one like on this side of the wall. Um, and I just thought that was so cute. So I'm super excited. And these are all Valentine's day clips. I think that Squishmallow popped off with <laughs> the Valentine's Day Squish this year. They, in the years past, I wasn't like a super big fan of them um, because I didn't like the little like sayings on their bellies, like be mine or whatever. And, but this year they went a lot more like subtle with the like Valentine's Day theming. It's a lot more just like hearts and like cutesy stuff rather than like the giant words on the stomach, which love that love that i love valentine's day because like i love pink i love white i love red i love hearts i love flowers it's like genuinely my whole aesthetic as you could probably tell um so i'm super excited i have bought way too many valentine's days already my next squishmallow, squishmallow video will definitely be like showing off all of my valentine's day squish i want to post that like closer to february um because i went <laughs> 
I went crazy. <laughs> I went crazy this year buying, buying the Valentine's Day Switch Pillows. I bought so many. I love every single one of them. <laughs> um, so I'll definitely have a video about that closer to February. But for now, I will show you these clips that I got for Walgreens. Um, they came in this little, just like giant Ziploc baggie in the box. Um, so first up, we have this little Andre. So I hope I'm saying that right. Um, Andres, he's this cute little dog with a little pink bow headband with hearts on it. He's super cute. I've seen a lot of like bigger versions of him, but I wasn't the biggest fan of them. Um, but I do, I actually really like him in this tiny size. I think it's super cute. And then next, we have Willet. He's also so cute. He looked a lot more red in the pictures that I saw. But he's actually like a very nice shade of pink. It's kind of like, a, like an orangey pink. And his little hair is red and he has a red heart on his eye. But he's so cute. I was... I was really worried that he was going to be like a super bright red and he wouldn't really fit in with kind of like the squishmallows that I do have. Um, but he's, he really is just like a super cute fade of pink. I really like him. Uh, I love the monster squishmallows. I have a, one of the, I think he's a 16 inch, maybe it's a 14 inch of the Valentine's Day monster that came out from Target. I'm kind of blanking on the name right now. But he will definitely make an appearance in the Valentine's Day video. He's super cute. I love the monster squishmallows. Next, we have Myrie. Oh, I love Myrie. She is one of my favorites. Um, I really like moths. I think moths are super cute. I have a little moth tattoo on my arm. This is from The Last of Us. But she's super cute. I love her little yellow and pink with a little heart on her belly. I also bought another Myrie, um, another one of the Valentine's Day Myries. I think it's a five inch. Um, it's, it's somewhere in the disaster area. Um, but she's super cute. And I saw a 14 inch version of her at Kroger and I almost caved, but I'm super picky about my Squishmallows once they get above 10 inches because they're just so big and they take up so much space. And I just wasn't, I didn't like her as much in the bigger form. Um, so I, I'm pretty, I'm super happy with having the clip in the five inch. The next I bought, oh my God, she's so cute. I bought two little Edens. Oh my God. I love the purple and the blue and her little hearts on her belly are so cute and her little toes. Um, I bought one of these for myself and one of them to give to someone. Oh, look at them. I, the Bigfoots are definitely my favorite Squishmallow. Um, I love the Bigfoots. My favorite, I think you can see him. Where is he? Waxy? Yeah, Waxy. <laughs> He's one of my favorites. And I love these. I've been trying so hard to find a big version um, of Eden, but I haven't been able to find it anywhere. I think they, ha I think they are supposed to have her at Walgreens. But I didn't see her online when I was ordering these clips, and I haven't seen her in store either. But I desperately want a bigger, like a eight inch at least version of Ethan because she's just so cute with her little hearts and the purple and blue. I love her. Okay, I'm gonna put these away. So my mics decided to stop working for like this whole next clip. Um, but for the next thing, I opened the um, All About Squish collection. It was the Buelo one. I had seen some people open these, and I was very eager to get one. Um, I had never seen anyone open the Buelo one, and I am a Buelo enthusiast. I love Buelo so much. She is so cute. And so I was super duper excited about this. Um, the star of the show... The reason that I bought the whole thing was the boil up and pouch. It is so freaking cute. Um, I will I will say the thing was way too hard to open. <laughs> As you can see, but I do eventually get it open. And it, there was just, it was so, it was such a huge box. I like, it had no idea 
where to like sit everything down to like actually get into it. So yeah, I was struggling so bad to figure out where to put it, but it came with the giant um, set of like stickers and papers and stuff. I mean, it was like, it was huge. <laughs> everything about this box was just ginormous. And everything was like taped down in a way that made it like way too hard to get it out. It was way too hard to get the plastic off. I was struggling so bad. <laughs> but I did eventually get it open. Um, so the first thing I got out was the frozen pizza. <laughs> Just kidding. It's not actually a frozen pizza. It is puff stickers. <laughs> And it had, I know Buela, there was only one Buela, and there was, I know a Cam and a Winston on there. I think puff stickers are, like, really hard to use, personally, because they're just, like, bound to come off of anything that you put them on. Uh, and then the next thing was this, like, sticky note pad. Um, it was taped on the front, so I had to, like, tear the top sheet off, because as I pulled the tape off, it ripped the front sheet. It took the little design off, but it was it was super cute. Uh, and the next thing was these three little washi tapes. They're also very cute. I'm excited to use those for like my Etsy shop. And then there was a to-do list, little like memo pad. I strive off of lists, especially at work. So I will definitely be getting my use out of that. The next thing, the next thing was this little notebook. Um, I've actually been really wanting to start, like, journaling and stuff. Um, it seems like it could have some, like, really positive impacts on, like, your mental health and growth. Um, I would love to use it to track, like, personal growth, but also my growth and, like, content creation and stuff. So I was actually pretty excited to get the journal because I've been meaning to buy one and haven't. <laughs> so it's awfully convenient that this came with it. It had a little like bookmark in it that had the original squish wall attack but I didn't show it. The next thing was this cute little clipboard. It had obviously like the hard front and back and then it had the clip on the front as well as a little like strap to hold it closed and then on the inside it had a little like folder pocket on both sides and then there was a notepad with like, I don't know the, there's probably a better word for it, but it's like graph paper. So it's like super small little lines that form a bunch of tiny little squares. Um, but it was super cute. I'll definitely like get my use out of that at work, like tracking data and stuff. So I'm actually really excited about that. The next thing were these little stickers that were underneath that notebook that I got earlier. It looks like they're stickers that you like color yourself, which I'll probably um, take to work and let my kids do. I think they would really enjoy that. So I probably won't be keeping those, but they will get good use. And then the next thing that I pulled out was these like giant pieces of paper, which unfortunately mine came like crumpled on one side, which really sucks because um, the side that those stickers were on, some of those stickers got messed up, which they were just like tiny little stickers. It was like the little hearts and like stars and stuff. But it's still disappointing because the little papers and stuff got messed up too, which is a little sad. But I don't know if it was a packaging issue, like, from Squishmallow, or if it was, like, a, um, like, Amazon problem. I don't really know. But the stickers were super cute. There was a ton of different Squishmallows on them, and there were, like, four different sheets on that, like, one piece of paper. There were, like, small ones, and then there were some bigger ones. I don't know yet if they're, like, water resistant, or, like, if I can put them on water bottles or not. But they are really cute. And I'll definitely find a way to use them either way. The next thing were these, like, way too big pieces of paper. Um, like, an impractically large size. Um, there was two of each of them. So there were two of this, like, orangey one. And there was two of this, like, bluish green that had a bunch of different squishmallows on the top and the bottom. And also, for some reason, the back of my papers were, like, dirty. 
I don't really know how that happened, but they came out of the box like that. The next one was my favorite. I'm so obsessed with this. It's pink and it has like flowers and hearts on it and it has a little abuela in the corner and there was there was two of those. There were two of each of these sheets that it came with. And then here's another set. That one said Mallow Days and it had a little cam and I don't know the cactus's name um, in the top right corner. And then there was this last one that was also super cute that had a bunch of little squish on the top. It was like a purpley color. But again, like, those are very, like, impractical pieces of paper. I'll definitely try to, to find a use for them. Um, but they're just, like, such a weird size that it's kind of hard to, like, know what to do with them. The next thing was these three stickers that were taped together and I was worried about taking the tape off so I just let them tape because I didn't want to like take the backs off but they're just like bigger stickers of Buela Winston and I don't know the cat's name um but those ones definitely did feel like water resistant and they felt really good quality um so I'll definitely throw those in like a water bottle or something they were super cute I really liked them and then the last thing was this little memo pad which unfortunately tearing the tape off it tore the back because they taped everything in this box way too freaking much but it said um hanging with my mallows on the front and then i thought it was like a gonna be like a lined notepad but it's just like a completely blank notepad with no lines the next thing was this cute pink um mechanical pencil that had a bunch of squishmallows going all around it and there were these two paper clips one of boyla and one of this little fox they were really cute I'll definitely find a use for those two. The next thing was a set of five gel pins that I think are glittery. Um, but there was pink, purple, and then like this yellowish orange, and then green and blue. Um, I haven't tried them out yet, but I am very hopeful <laughs> that they'll write really good and be like a nice color and glittery. Um, because they do look super cute, and they say Squishmallow. On the front of the pen okay and here's the star of the show this is the boy lip pencil pouch um it had the little original squishmallow zipper i'm obsessed with it i was obsessed with it when i filmed and i'm obsessed with it now are you kidding look at her little tentacles look at her little belly she's so cute i was really worried when i ordered this that it would be like small but it actually is a really good size it's like the perfect size for like a bunch of pins i, I really do think you, you could that you could fit like a ton of stuff in there but it's so cute and the inside is like this little like satin like purple lining um but there's plenty of like room height wise for a ton for like pins and then there's room like width wise for like a bunch of stuff so it actually is way better than i expected it to be and so cute <laughs> squishmallow mystery box it's kind of like busting open where I took the tape off. I maybe should have left it a little bit on to like keep it closed. I didn't want to have to like cut the tape while I was recording. Um, but I promise I haven't looked too close. <laughs> um, so this is three mystery eight inch squishmallows. Uh, I said, in the, like I said in the intro, I have bought um, a couple of these mystery boxes from Amazon in the past. I bought the 5 inch and the 8 inch. I remember not being the biggest fan of the 5 inch one. I didn't feel like it was a lot of value. And I ended up getting like a 3 Easter squish, which I'm not the biggest fan of the Easter squish mellows. Um, but I mean, it was still like, it was, it was okay. But the 8 inch one last time from Amazon really did impress me. Uh, I got some super cute squish out of it. I got one of the orange squish mellows, like the, the fruit orange. <laughs> And I got Celestina in it. It was really, really good. Um, and I'm a teacher. <laughs> so it's really nice to like buy these mystery boxes. Because even if I'm not the biggest fan of the Squish. Or if they don't really like fit into my personal collection. I can always take them to work. And like my kids at work will appreciate them and love on them. So regardless, they'll, they'll go to a place that they're loved. Um, so yeah, I'm super excited. I I have been dying, dying to open this box. It's just been sitting in my room because I was waiting till like all of this stuff came in to open it. And I am super duper excited. I've been dying to open it. I'm like, like staring at it, like literally like dreaming about it. Um, because I love like the mystery boxes. I love um, the like mystery 
bags. Um, so yeah, I'm super excited. So the first one we have, oh, she's a special edition. Wait, that's really cool. I didn't know you could get special editions in the mystery box. I don't know how rare that is. Um, I'll have to look up this one, but it's Tanya. She's a special edition. She has a little holographic tag. I don't have any special edition squishmallows, so this is super exciting. Um, I usually am not the biggest fan of like dark colored squishmallows. Um, as you can kind of tell by the background, a lot of my squishmallows are like pinks and like light colors and bright colors, but I actually really like her. Uh, I don't have any of the like boars or razorbacks or whatever. <laughs> Which, whichever one of those she is. Um, but yeah, I really like her. I'll definitely be keeping her. Uh, I'll have to figure out where exactly to put her. I am going to be reorganizing my Squishmallows because they're a disaster. Literally a disaster right now. Um, so once I reorganize them, I'll be able to have a better place for her. Which I'll definitely make a video on that because <laughs> this doesn't even like cover it. Like there's so much and I, I've got to get it together. I've got to get it together. <laughs> it's so bad. Um, next we have, oh, wait, this doesn't look like, I think this is an axolotl, but it doesn't look like the typical axolotl, so I'll have to look this one up. This is Sela. She's so cute. Uh, she has like the light bluish green, like down into the blue, into the purple. And she has this little purple tail and the little like ridges on her back. She has this like white fluffy belly. Again, I'm not, I've never seen an axolotl like this, but I don't really know what else it could be. <laughs> um, I'll definitely have to look her up when I'm done. She is so cute though. I love her colors. I love the like hints of purple and the like ombre she's so cute and then lastly we have scarlet i'm so i'm so excited i don't have surprisingly given how much i love the like pink and red and like girly aesthetic i don't have any scarlets and she's so cute i don't know how i haven't gotten her before but she's adorable and she fits in perfect with the like valentine's day i think i know she had i i think it's scarlet at least i know there's um the valentine's day strawberries right now they're like chocolate covered i'm not i'll be honest i'm i'm not the biggest fan i won't be buying but i do think she's so cute and she's gonna fit in so good oh, i love her i think this mystery box hmm it might be better than the last one. These are really good Squishmallows. And like these two I've never seen before. Which is really cool. Um, again, I'm going to have to look up Sela and find out if she is exact. What she is exactly. Because she's not like the typical axolotls that Squishmallow makes. And then I'm going to have to see how like rare Tanya. This like iteration of Tanya is. Because I've never seen this one before. And she is a special edition. And then lastly, of course, Scarlet our girl we love scarlet i'm so glad to finally have one of her but yeah I, i'm really i'm super impressed with this mystery box um i've heard some like squishmallow people that i follow in the past say that if you order the squishmallow boxes from like the squishmallow website when they do the mystery boxes that you, they are usually better but i i've had really good luck with my boxes on amazon other than that five inch one uh, i'll probably continue <laughs> to order them from Amazon just because it's so much easier and they come so fast. And again, like any Squishmallows that I don't end up keeping in my personal collection, they do end up going um, to the kiddos in my class at school. They love on them. Um, so I think the mystery boxes personally are like super good value and they're so fun. Like just not knowing what you're going to get. And then when you get good ones, like the ones that I got, it's even better. <laughs> um, so yeah. That was, that was a super good little box. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm incredibly happy with everything that I got. I'm like very, very impressed. Um, this is all stuff that is like very new to me. Um, like I said, I've never bought any clips before. Like I don't have any. 
I'm so, I'm so freaking excited to display them on my nets that I have up. Um, I think it's going to be so cute. And now I can start buying more because before I didn't have any idea like what to do with them. And I, I personally was really impressed with the stationery set too. The Boyla pencil case is so cute. And it's stuff that I'll actually use like at work or for my Etsy shop. Um, it's all like super useful stuff. So I'm really excited about that. And then the mystery box. It was the star of the show. <laughs> Those squish in the mystery box were so good. I was super duper impressed. And to get a special edition too, like that's really neat. And I'm excited to look her up and see like how rare she is and I don't even know what squad she's a part of um I know there's like other Tanyas but I've never I've never seen that special edition green Tanya um and I'm excited to put them all in the collection I'm gonna keep I'm gonna be keeping all three of those um and again I need to reorganize all of my squish but I think my next squishmallow video will be showing all of the valentine's day ones that i got this year because i did go a little cuckoo i went a little delulu on the valentine's day squish because they're just oh, they're all so cute and so pink and i love them so i i bought i bought so many so i definitely will do a video showing off all of those and then i'll do a video soon of reorganizing all my squish i want to get that valentine's day one filmed first and hopefully put out like beginning of february um so it's like right on time for the love season and then i'll post the reorganizing one after that so if you want to see more squishmallow content from me make sure you subscribe and like this video if you enjoyed the haul i was super happy with all of it and i appreciate you guys for watching thank you and bye